Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a special treat for you. It is the Totally Techniques blog hop for December. We are going to be playing with shaving cream and stencils. Oh my gosh! I'm going to be using these fabulous decorative masks with the shaving cream technique to show you some great background ideas. I can't hardly wait to get into this. Now, it may be a little messy, but in the end, you're going to smell good too. So let's get this camera flipped around and I will show you exactly how to do it. This is the shaving cream that I choose to use. It's I just grabbed it right out of my shower. I use it to shave my hairy legs. <laughs> And it's very inexpensive. There's nothing special about it, except that it is a shaving cream and not a gel. Then I've got the Plenty of Patterns decorative masks here. You get all four of these in a pack with different designs on each one. I'm going to be incorporating all of this with the Seascape stamp set and the Sea Life dies for some really fun patterns. This reminded me of perhaps scales or sea life or ocean or waves. I don't know, but this caught my attention and I thought, oh, this will be a lot of fun with this bundle. The other thing that I'm going to be using are the palette knives. These are available in the annual catalog. You can find these in my store. Now remember, if you are in the United States and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. This is my blog address. You can head right over there and you'll find an online store that you can click on and shop in. This is my current host code. This changes periodically, but if your order is under $150, please use this code. And if it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some special Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. Now, you'll notice that I have my grid paper down here, and that's because this, like I said, it's a little messy, so you're going to want to have some type of a paper to protect your work surface. I've got an old gift card. Any kind of gift card will work. A hotel card. This happens to be a pizza card. And then I'm going to bring in some ink refills. Now, if you're ordering ink pads, you definitely always want to get an ink refill with your ink pad because you don't want to open up your ink pad and have it not be as juicy as you need it and no way to make it right. So always, if you're ordering an ink pad, always order the ink refill to go with it and then you'll be able to do all kinds of fun techniques. I'm going to bring in a paper plate and then I'm going to grab my um, shaving cream. Now, one way we've used shaving cream in the past is to do your technique and then put your cardstock in it. And if you're going to do that technique, you need to make sure that your shaving cream palette that you're going to make here is big enough to accommodate your layer of cardstock. I'm just gonna grab some four by five and a quarter inch. These are basic white layers. You would need it to be big enough to fit this, but we're not doing that today. I'm going to just squirt some shaving cream right here. And I'm going to grab my palette knife. I'm gonna smooth that down a little bit. I just want a little bit of a surface to work with here before we start adding our color. So I'm just gonna smoosh it around to give me a little bigger area. You're also gonna want some paper towel or tissue. Um, I've been doing this, I've made several different kinds for you today before I came on here. It is a little bit messy, but you can see that I could definitely go out in public like this and not feel like I was looking, you know, crazy. <laughs> okay, so I've got gorgeous grape, and I'm just going to drop some drops of that around on my shaving cream. And then I'm going to bring in Bermuda Bay. I'm going to do some drops of that. And now we need to mix this up just a little bit. But you want to swirl it instead of mixing it because you want these really fun colors and patterns in here. You don't want to blend it so much that your purple and your um, bluish green color are mixing together to make one color that probably won't be that attractive. 
Shaving cream wipes off really easy off of everything we're using here today. So that's another nice benefit. This may seem like it's super messy, but it's really easy to clean up. So I am going to bring in this particular pattern and I'm just going to lay it over my white layer. Now I'm gonna hold this in place, grab my gift card, and I'm gonna pick up some of this shaving cream. Now you're gonna press this down on your stencil and just keep doing it until you feel like you've covered the whole thing. You've got some left over here, push it right back on there, wipe this off, super easy. It's ready to go for another color. Now I like to take my paper towel and wipe my stencil off right while it's on that cardstock. You can pick this up now to reveal, oh my gosh, how beautiful is that, right? I'm gonna wipe my stencil off a little bit more. This is done, it's clean, it's ready to use again. And you can even take your paper towel and wipe it over your cardstock. Now, this feels a little bit damp, so I'm gonna set it aside to dry. And as long as we're goofing around here, I thought I could just show you another one. This uses a different decorative mask from the Plenty of Patterns decorative masks. And I'm just going to grab some more shaving cream here. And I'm holding this in place while I pull that shaving cream over my stencil. I'm also pushing on it so that I can scrape off all the excess shaving cream onto my card. Put that right over here. Again, I'm just gonna wipe it off here. It's clean and ready to go. I'm gonna come in and wipe off my stencil. And then I'm going to wipe off my card stack. Now I can see that I let my stencil move a little bit here. But let's see, here's another one that I did where I didn't let it move. You can see those nice crisp white lines. But this is this is fine too. I'll use this layer for something. And again, I would set it aside to dry. Let's try one more color combination. Let's get our shaving cream. Oh, and by the way, as I was playing with all of this, I simply took my paper towel and I scooped this off my plate and I used it for various different colors. So you don't have to get a new plate out and waste paper plates. You could also use any type of a container to hold this. You could use something that you would wash, but I just wanted to make, you know, make it easy and throw it away. Okay, um, let's try, we're gonna go with, how about some flirty flamingo? This is another pretty color combination. Now you may be asking where are you getting these color combinations? I have a um, program that I use on my computer called Color Lab, and I will actually put the link for that on my blog. So you can find that at www.estampabove.com, and you'll be able to click on that and make your own color combinations that work well together with this Color Lab. Now, this is Mango Melody, and again, I said I use Flirty Flamingo here, and I'm just going to swirl this color around and again you don't want to do it so much that you're mixing the colors so it turns to one color you want to keep those separate colors in there okay i think we're ready i'm going to wipe this off it's clean and ready to use let's go with let's go with this particular decorative mask whoops let's get a piece of white card stuck down there again this is just basic white nothing fancy and I'm going to whoops, find my little gift card. I'm gonna scoop up some of this, hold everything down in place. And I can see where there's still some white on there. Sometimes you may want that. Other times you may wanna make sure that you're covering it all up. Add some more color to it. And as you can see, while this may be messy, I'm not filthy dirty. All the color is going on to our paper towel. It's easy to wipe off. You can take these decorative masks and run them under water, dry them off, let them dry, whatever you wanna do. They're very hardy. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this off. I'm going to wipe my card off and then allow it to dry. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna clean this up, get everything ready so I can show you the cards I made.
Okay, let's make a card with all this fun stuff. So I have got a basic thick, with basic white thick card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it already at four and a quarter. So we're just going to get that edge burnished good. Then I've got a piece of basic black that is four by five and a quarter. We're going to use one of our stenciled shaving cream layers. And I cut this down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I think we can just put these all together here. This is the one that uses Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. Now I'm gonna put glue all the way around the outside edge because that shaving cream tends to make the cardstock bow just a little bit. So you wanna make sure you want get those get that adhesive on your edges so that it'll lay down nicely on your black layer. Okay, isn't that just pretty? Love this. We can add this right to our card front. Okay, then we've got just a tiny bit of stamping to do. Now, I am going to be using the um, Seascape bundle on here. This is a very fun bundle. It's got some great dies with it. And these dies, hang on, by the way, are called sea life dies. You've got some fish, you've got some coral, um, a starfish, no, a seahorse, or as Dina would call it, a horsefish, <laughs> and like um, a koi, uh, uh, is that what that called? Koi pond goldfishy thing? Yeah, so anyways, you've got some really great images in here. Yeah, I'm not, I don't live by the ocean, so I don't know all the things. I also decided to bring in the Biggest Wish stamp set because I wanted some sentiments. Um, I'm going to be making a hello card. You can make a thank you card, just a friend card, a birthday card, or a happy card. This is a fantastic sentiment stamp set. Okay, so we are going to use Bermuda Bay ink because that is one of the, well, this was Coastal Cabana, but I wanted something a little different. Granny Apple and Coastal Cabana, and we're going to use Bermuda Bay for our sentiment. So I'm going to stamp that, and then I brought in my rectangle stitched dies because this fits perfect on this layer. So I'm going to die cut this. And as long as we're going to be die cutting, I've got this black scrap here. And where did my dies go? Here are my dies. I am going to die cut the seahorse out of this. Um, you could fit both. We could die cut both of these. As long as I'm die cutting, I'm going to do both because then I'll have it for some other cards that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to die cut those, all of these things. I'll be right back. Now, when you die cut these, they don't come all the way out of the paper, and that's done on purpose. There's nothing wrong with your die, but this is a neat way that you could um, just die cut these into a layer that you're going to put on your card. So you get the best of both worlds here. So in order to get these out of the paper. There's just a few places where they are secured to the cardstock layer. And you can just snip those right off easily. And this gives you double duty with this particular set of dies, which is pretty neat. Now we got a lot of bits and pieces in there, right? So I'm gonna bring in my die brush adapter. This is the take your pick tool and it has an end that goes on it. It just screws right in here. You order this separately, and I love this thing. Like, it is worth its weight in gold, and it doesn't really weigh much, but you know what I mean. So we're going to get the bits and pieces out. And you can use, whoops, both ends of this. The pokey end or the piercing end is also super handy. I use it for... Um, putting mini glue dots on, all kinds of great things. This is just a wonderful multi-purpose tool. You're gonna do the same thing 
to get your goldfish out of here. There's just a few places where it's attached to the cardstock layer. Okay, we're just gonna use the seahorse here. And we have our hello. And I am ready to put these on here. I think I'm gonna do my seahorse right here, my little hello right here. I thought this black glittered organdy ribbon would look nice on here. So let's see what we're gonna do with that. I think I'm just gonna put it right under my sentiment like this. And it just adds a little pizzazz to your card. So let me grab a little piece of tape that right on the back and secure that. Oops, I gotta trim that up a little bit. There we go. And we'll grab our, I've got some black dimensionals here. I can use those on the back of this. White would work fine too. Here we go. We're gonna put this right in here and add some glue to the back of our starfish. I love the way this background turned out. I think it is absolutely perfect for a card like this. And then what are we gonna do here? Well, I've got an envelope and I, if I would have still had all of my shaving cream stuff out, I would have covered up my envelope so I could just see my flap and I would have added the decorative masking with the shaving cream to that, but I've already disposed of it. So I thought what I could do here is simply use my hello. And I'm just going to stamp hello up the side of my envelope. So I have just a little bit of decor, whoops, hang on. A little bit of decoration going on there. Let's see if we can get this lined up again. Ooh, I did it, yay. Okay, so what a fantastic card with the shaving cream stencil technique. I have some more to share with you. Here is one of them with that flirty flamingo and mango melody. I used the fish on this one and a two and a quarter inch circle of vellum cardstock as well as the black baker's twine. I wanted to put, where did my, I've got my black matte dots here, which is what I used on this card, and I almost forgot to put those on here. So let's get those on this card to give it just a little bit of embellishment. Oops, hang on. Another good use for your take your pick tool. It's always kind of hard to hold on to these or pick them up, but when you use a tool like this, it just makes it so much easier. And here comes another card that I made with this. This one is the Bermuda Bay with the gorgeous grape. And isn't that pretty? Now this, I cut out that um, coral from the die set too. So three beautiful cards, and here are our samples using those decorative masks. You're gonna find a complete ingredient list as well as a shopping list if you would like to order any of these products. On my blog, there's gonna be a link right up here that you can click on. I also wanna tell you that I'm going to be showing a little different idea using the shaving cream with um, some dyes for some more cars in my Facebook Live Sunday night. I am on at 7 p.m. Central Time Sunday night on Facebook. You can go there and do a search for a stamp above dash your creative coach. You're going to find me there. We have brand new catalogs coming out January 4th. And if you would like to get your hands on those, you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, please feel free to contact me. My email address is right here. I would be happy to mail those catalogs to you. We've got some fantastic new products coming out. Click right up here to head over to my blog. You'll find still photos, all the dimensions, all the colors. I'm going to have photos of all of these different patterns that I've made using the shaving cream stencil technique as well as a bunch of online classes that I have that are available globally if you're not in the United States. So make sure you check that out. 
And I'd like to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend it with me. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.